top health conference in two medical journals, one in the U.S. and the other in Japan, and she's still in high school. The 17-year-old is just back from that medical conference in Atlanta. And as KXAN's health reporter Gigi Barnett explains, her findings could lead to a cure for some cancers. 17-year-old Nikita Kondapali spent a month scouring a national medical database looking for links between Hodgkin's lymphoma survivors. She wanted to know their chances of developing other cancers five years after they beat the disease. Nikita is part of a team of three high schoolers who found it. If someone had Hodgkin's lymphoma, and they were over 50, they would know what to look for. If they discovered that former Hodgkin's patients, 49 years and younger, had a greater chance of developing urinary cancers later on. And for survivors 50 and older, their risk of respiratory cancers jumped. Well, this week, researchers at the American Society of Hematology invited them to unveil their findings at the group's national conference. The test was on. Well, do you know how you know how the science fair works, right? You, people come up to you, they ask you questions about your project. They're just like, oh, I didn't know this, or, you know, I didn't know that, or this could happen. Nikita is a student at Harmony Science Academy, Pflugerville, and she doesn't share much about her weekend research with most classmates or her teachers. I don't think they would understand. <laughs> At the conference, Nikita says other doctors and researchers were amazed by her age, and they had one request, do more research. Yeah, that's what we want to do, like theories on how people get such high risks for those cancers. and how Nikita says be. she's headed to medical school, preferably at the University of Texas, Austin, and this research may be her golden ticket in. Uh, I didn't do it for that, but I would like it to be. Cause I I'm Gigi like Barnett, KXAN News. Nikita says right now her research is on hold as she focuses on getting into college. She says her team will most likely begin a new research.